Yo, what is up? A ton here, and I decided to do a different video today. Um, usually I'm talking about something about gaming related, and while this kind of is, um, I figured because this is my channel is also about collecting video games that I would go over something that has helped me out a lot, and something I knew was a bit of an issue for me when I first started, and that's you know discs that are heavily scratched and they don't work. So I'm going to be covering a pretty affordable option. Um, and how to resurface these things, and it's something I would highly recommend, and hopefully something that helps you guys out. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, I have this copy of Lego Batman on the Wii, that, you know, does not work, so I guess I gotta show you guys that it doesn't work first. Um... reading it, it's reading it. And it is unable to read the disc. Alright guys, I have the Skip Doctor right here and I have that copy of Lego Batman. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use this thing. It's a pretty cheap way to repair your disc. So, the first thing you want to do is start spraying this with the Skip Doctor fluid, which I will also be linking in the description. Everything that I use, I bought these all together. Um, I will be linking them in the description. Um, so you're gonna want to spray that fluid on there. It almost acts as a lubricant, um, and then you're gonna put it in this little slot, and you're just gonna start cranking. Um, you're gonna want to do this process. About, you're gonna want to do this process twice. Um, you're gonna it's gonna slowly start spinning, and you're gonna want to make sure it goes around twice. So, uh, yeah, I guess while I'm spinning it, I should, you know, make it known that this only works on DVDs, so not Blu-rays. So it wouldn't work on if you're gonna repair any PS3, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, Wii U. It wouldn't work on any of those discs. This only works on DVDs and CDs. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and speed up this video and show you guys after. All right. So, now that we have it, um, you'll, you will notice these marks on it. That is normal. Um, it is not gonna affect the disc in any way. Um, and now that we have had it go around twice, we're going to take this microfiber cloth and we are going to just go over it. This will not affect the disc in any way, hence why it is microfiber. And then the final step, and this is a very important step, we're going to take this buffing pad and I'm going to move this out of the way. We're going to put a lot of pressure on it and we're going to buff it. We're going to go in up and down motion. Um, that is very important. Do not uh, go in a circle. Um, that will, you know, kind of not be good for the disc. So make sure you go in up and down motion, and you want to go, you want to cover the entire disc. All right, now that that is done, um, I have, you can see the marks, I have done the entire process. You may need to do this multiple times depending on how deep the scratches were. And yeah, let's go ahead and put this in the Wii U. All right, we are at the Wii menu right now. I'm using my Wii U. We have the Batman disc. This is the one that I just resurfaced. You can see the marks kind of, sort of, it's hard to see in the lighting. And we're gonna see if it works. And there we go. That is Lego Batman fixed. Um, as you guys saw at the start of the video, it did not work at all. Um, everything that I used will be linked in the description. I don't have a freaking nunchuck hookup. Okay, well, um, 
Oh, it isn't. Maybe. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. This device, while it doesn't work perfectly and it sometimes can take a while, it has saved a few of my discs. Um, and I hope it could help you guys out too. Thank you guys so much for watching.